But hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my current hair care favorites, all of the hair care products that I use and love. These are shampoos, conditioners, and deep conditioning treatments. Now, as a bit of background, I have long hair down to my lower back, and it's wavy in texture. I don't do any chemical processing treatments to my hair, I don't color treat my hair, and I don't heat style my hair or use any heat tools on my hair. And my scalp produces a moderate amount of sebum, AKA oil. Why am I telling you these things? Well, they're very important because they dictate the frequency with which I need to and tolerate shampooing my hair, which for me is every day. If I don't shampoo my hair every day, it starts to look greasy. All right, the first product, I actually love everything from this brand. It's the Know Nothing brand. You can buy this on Amazon or you can buy it directly from their site. This is a brand that's vegan and cruelty free and one of the main reasons I love it and frequently recommend it is that it's free of common allergens that are present in hair care products. So for people who have fragrance allergy or allergies to common preservatives, like methyl isothiazolinone, this is a great go-to. Um, unlike other you know, sensitive skin friendly hair care, this brand has a plethora of hair care products to choose from. It's not just like one shampoo and one conditioner. They have hairspray, they have um, gel, mousse. I don't use those types of styling products, but I definitely recommend this brand if you are in the market for, for those. Anyways, I use the uh, moisture line the moisture line has sodium laureth sulfate as the surfactant in the shampoo, so that's what's gonna help degrease my scalp. And it also has glycerin, which is gonna help add hydration to my hair. In addition to the sodium laureth sulfate for cleansing, it has a secondary detergent that is really more for conditioning, actually, uh, sodium laurel sarcosinate. And then it has uh, some amphoteric surfactants that really just help with moisturizing. It has cocomidal propyl betaine in it. And it's got avocado oil, which is a wonderful emollient for imparting shine. Very minimal ingredient list. And then the corresponding conditioner has uh, some wonderful conditioning agents to help uh, neutralize that negative charge on the hair shaft. Leaves the hair clean, manageable. So I love the moisture line. But from time to time, I also like to use a volumizing shampoo. Depending on the weather, my hair can look a little flat sometimes. Volumizing shampoos, they'll often have hydrolyzed vegetable protein or hydrolyzed silk, which deposits on the hair and kind of temporarily increases hair diameter and adds a little bit of volume. Now, if you use volumizing shampoo every day, that can actually lead to a buildup on the hair over time. And if you have coiled hair, curly hair, you may find that that ends up affecting your curl pattern. And so you might wanna avoid some of these volumizing products. But the Know Nothing line has Hydro, uh, the Know Nothing line, their volume shampoo has hydrolyzed vegetable protein in it, which uh, you know is gonna be what helps add a little bit of extra volume. So I don't use it that often, but I love it. It's actually very similar to the hydration one with the exception that it's got the vegetable protein in there for, for volume. So that's the volume shampoo and conditioner. And then I also use um, a fair amount the repair shampoo and conditioner. I have long hair, so it's inevitable that I have split ends, uh, and I try and keep on top of that. I have long hair, so it's inevitable that I get split ends, uh, but I try and keep on top of that by you know, not heat styling my hair, being very gentle with my hair care, and um, then I will gravitate towards a repairing shampoo. And the repair shampoo, like the volume shampoo, also has hydrolyzed uh, vegetable protein in it, which will deposit and kind of fill in some of those holes in the hair and kind of help smooth things out. Unlike the volume shampoo, um, the repair shampoo also has a sarcosinate in it. Now sarcosinates or sarcosines are secondary detergents that don't cleanse. They're not, you know, like a, a sulfate or anything. They don't do any cleansing. They're more conditioning. So um, whereas the volume shampoo didn't have the sarcosine, this one does. You get a little bit more conditioning. So it's really good if you have brittle hair, uh, damaged hair. If you use a um, blow dryer a lot, the repair shampoo would be good for you. They also have a shampoo and conditioner for color treated hair. 
that like the repair shampoo has the sarcosinate secondary detergent in it for conditioning, but um, in contrast to the others, it has a little bit more of an ingredient called polysilicone 15, which is actually a sunscreen. It is uh, Parcel XL SLX. Uh, Parcel X SLX, <laughs> I think I'm saying that right, is a UVB filter, but it helps with retaining the hair color. Uh, so that's probably, you know, obviously why it is um, a higher up on the ingredient list in this product. Uh, it also can kind of help stabilize the ingredients in the shampoo that might otherwise be degraded by UV exposure. So that's the No Nothing line. And then another shampoo that I really love. Now this is actually a great one if you have dry hair, coily hair, curly hair, and you're looking for good, something that will cleanse the scalp without stripping away at your hair. Um, hair shafts and leaving them frizzy and unmanageable. It's this Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight. I use this probably once a week and I love it because it really just cleanses the scalp very nicely. It has uh, salicylic acid in it which helps uh, kind of remove oily buildup from the scalp. If you have dandruff, it helps that as well. And what I love about this product is this pointed tip applicator really allows you to precisely direct it just to the scalp. And then it works into a nice like sort of lather. Um, it's part of this water to foam water to foam formulation. I mean, it feels like water going over your scalp. It has a nice cooling sensation to it. And then as you massage it in, it works up into a lather that you can then rinse off. I really love this. It doesn't um, have any uh, sulfates that are going to be harsh on people's hair types that are more curly or coiled. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, but for me personally, I just really love using this basically for cleansing the scalp. I also really like the Shea Moisture, I've talked about this before, uh, oat milk and rice water, baby wash and shampoo. This is perfect. There's actually no anionic surfactant in this, aka there's no sodium lauryl sulfate or laureth sulfate. Um, this instead relies on the natural detergent action of oats and it also has rice water in it which can really help with adding shine and hydration. This product is really great for uh, dry, dull, brittle hair strands. It's not the best at scalp cleansing. Babies don't make, they don't have an oily scalp. There's not really a need to degrease a baby's scalp. They don't have that level of sebum production at all. Um, but anyways, for me personally, I love using this more so when I'm feeling like my scalp isn't too greasy, but I just want something to kind of uh, cleanse, to stay on top of the oil production, but also add uh, shine. It, it really does a good job with shine to the hair. That's one of my main hair goals is shininess and anti in reducing split ends. So this is wonderful. I have a video explaining the benefits of rice water for your hair and I don't really have the time to be doing the rice water thing myself. Uh, so I like using this product as well. If you have uh, textured hair, curly hair, definitely try this. Now it's labeled as fragrance free. However, it does have lavender oil in it, which you can definitely smell when you use this. <laughs> I shoot it up my nose. Um, so if you have a true fragrance allergy, this is not uh, going to be something that you can use. But, uh, you know, as I've always said, fragrance in shampoos and conditioners is less of an issue because you're rinsing it off than if it's in a product that you leave on your skin. So it's unlikely that the lavender oil in this is something that you have to worry about becoming sensitive to. But if you already have a fragrance allergy, then you would want to avoid this. But the no nothing line, would you'd be good to go there. All right, and then last but not least, I've been using these for a long time now and they are a favorite. This is uh, Function of Beauty. Um, and Function of Beauty, if you're not familiar, this is not sponsored, although I have partnered with them in the past. Uh, Function of Beauty is, um, a customizable hair care line. Basically, you can go in and put in your hair type, hair texture, and you can select up to five hair goals. I find, personally, the key to getting a good formula is to keep the hair goals 
to just like two. I think if people get too excited with the hair goals, they end up getting a formula that isn't quite what they want. I get fix, split ends, and shine in my um, pairing. And then what I love about Function of Beauty is that you can choose fragrance free. And so it's nice, you know, you can get a shampoo and conditioner that's customizable to your hair care needs and that does not have fragrance. So I love these and I've been using these for well over a year now. I know a lot of people, uh, you know, there are mixed opinions online about th these products, but I, I was a customer of Function of Beauty long before I was sponsored by them. And I, you know, I wouldn't be recommending them if I didn't think they were good. They work very well for me. Uh, you know, that doesn't mean they're gonna work well for everybody, but they're not bad products. The shampoo and conditioner really leave my hair shiny, manageable and you know, um, do a good job with scalp cleansing so that my hair is not greasy the following day. Um, all right, also from Function of Beauty, actually, if I could recommend one thing from Function of Beauty, if you're not interested in the shampoo and conditioner, is the mask. At least for me, this is probably the best hair mask I've ever used, and I really love it. I do it, the days that I use the Carol's Daughter for my scalp, I'll use this for my ends, and my hair is just, a dream that, that that following day. Very manageable, very shiny, very bouncy, love it. So this is definitely a favorite and I've been using it for a while. Another um, conditioning type product that I really like is again from Know Nothing. It's their very sensitive moisture mist. I like spraying this on my hair after I get out of the shower. I find it also helps reduce frizz. It has propylene glycol, which is a really good moisturizing ingredient for the hair shaft. Yes, it can be irritating on the skin for some people. It's also got dimethicone in it, a silicone, which is not water soluble. So I'll point that out because for people with coily hair, textured hair, curl, curly hair, um, silicones that are not water soluble, like dimethicone, can uh, affect your curl pattern and lead to a buildup. Doesn't cause an issue for me, you know, so um, and, and it helps a lot with imparting shine. So I use this maybe once a week for shine, for added shine to my hair, basically. Speaking of curly hair, um, I have really been loving the uh, Inky List Chia Seed Curl Defining Hair Treatment. I reviewed all of the Inky List hair care products, and if you watch that video, you'll remember how much I liked this. And I find for me, while I don't have curly hair, I do have wavy hair, and my wavy hair can start to look like an octopus's garden or some sort of sea anemone. And when I use this, it just whips it into shape and it behaves, you know, it just goes to a pattern of consistent, you know, a consistent wave pattern that all stays together and is all in the same phase. <laughs> and by that I mean like all of the hairs seem to be going, you know, parallel to one another. Does that make sense? In the same phase, like a waveform. Yeah, it really helps. Uh, especially like I'll look in the mirror and my hair will be doing the octopus's garden thing. And then I whip this out and just put a little bit on the ends. I mean, you don't need very much. And then it's like, boom, all of a sudden it's behaving. So I really like this. Uh, rinses out easily and doesn't leave a buildup on my hair, which is really important to me. Um, and then the last product that is also from the Inky List that I adore is their Hyaluronic Acid Hair Treatment. Now this, I put to the ends of my hair after shampooing and it really helps with reducing split ends and adds a lot of shine and hydration to my hair. It helps with uh, keeping the hair moisturized. And you know, hyaluronic acid is a humectant, holds on to water. It's definitely helped with improving shine and hydration. So that's kind of my hair care collection. Last thing I want to share with you guys, speaking of collection, I store all of these in my linen closet that's in my bathroom in this Lazy Susan. I got this at Blood Bath and Beyond. Highly recommend it. It has a center console. Yeah, I highly recommend that if you guys are looking for something to organize your shampoo and conditioner. But no, you don't necessarily need to be changing up your shampoo and conditioner like on a daily basis or whatever. Bear in mind, I like to try out a lot of things so that I have you know stuff to review for you guys, so you know what's good and what's you know what to skip. Um, and this is just what I have really been loving over the past year throughout 2020. As I said, these hair care products, they're not gonna be right for every hair type. If you have color treated hair though, I would definitely recommend the Know Nothing 
color treatment shampoo and conditioner. Um, I think that that would be a good one. And if you have more textured or coily hair, um, you know, the Shea Moisture and the Carol's Daughter, I think are products that would still work well for you. The Chia Seed um, Curl Defining Cream, I think would be helpful too for uh, defining curls. Uh, but I would avoid the um, hydration mist um, if you have uh, textured hair, curly hair, because of the dimethicone uh, can build up on the hair. Um, this, I think you would also like if you have an oily scalp, but dry hair, um, because it's got salicylic acid. That's everything that I've been using over the past year and will continue to use into 2021. Um, so I'll list all of these down below in the description box. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.